Where's Brian? You want to read? Because I... There. Hi, everyone. Me and my blind self, I can't... I can't see. They're saying something here. Request to be in my live video right there. Request. Oh. No, that's that's a fan. Hi everyone, I don't know if you can hear me. That's not the right person. Can they hear me? Thank you. Here we go. Hopefully this works. works. Can you see me? There we are. Hi, <laughs> yes, I can. How Hi, are Paula. you? How you doing? I'm, I'm good. good. How are you? This good. is the first time I've ever done uh, I've ever done a live like this before. This is cool. Oh, it is cool. I miss you already. <laughs> I've never done. Yeah, I know. I miss you too. It's uh, it's it stinks not not shooting the show right now. I miss yeah. everybody. But at least we it's were so much fun. We had so much fun, did we not? I'm excited for tonight's show. Yeah, tonight's going to be a good one. The Super Six is is pretty cool. I know, and everyone brings out some really great performances. Yeah, they do. Hi, everyone. Yeah, hello, everyone. Hi, Thank Martino. you for for joining. <laughs> Gosh, I am getting old. I am blind as can be. I I <laughs> I can. <laughs> I can barely, I can barely see these. This is me. Oh, there you are. <laughs> right. There's <laughs> got to be a way to, to uh, expand this, this view here. Um, I don't think so. I think you and I are just going to be struggling. Yeah, I think we're screwed. Let's see. Um, Hi, Paula. Love you here in PA, right? Uh -huh. Don't you love her in PA? <laughs> we love her here in LA also. Hi, Hi guys. Um, New and everyone else who's here. Hi from Lovers. Oh, it's going by so quickly. New York. Oh, someone loves you, Brian Austin Green. <laughs> it's. <there's, laughs> I'll get a few stragglers. This is me. This is the Paula page. I've been invited to your live. Well, welcome. I'm happy you're here, and so are so is everyone else. So this is amazing. Are, are those? Do you still have? Do you still have Christmas decorations behind you? No, is that what that is? Is that a, a tree? No, it's no, but it's it's oh. a art. It's like a decorative piece, but it it passed as a Christmas tree for me this year. <laughs> right, right, yeah. If you string <laughs> lights on it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I know. Thank you. And you have a big, beautiful sky behind you. How beautiful, Los Angeles, man! I mean, come on now, look at this. I know, but it's going to be raining starting tonight through. At least yeah, separate. but it but it's not right now. It's not raining it's not now, right now, so I'm I'm taking advantage of it. I'm uh, yeah. I've been sitting outside in the sun. It's been beautiful. Good, 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 good. Should we um, uh, should we answer some of these? Yeah, let's answer some questions. Brian, does anybody have any questions for us? Hello, yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rico. <laughs> Hi, um, Danielle. Hi, sweetheart. Um, someone's asking you where Sharna is. <laughs> sure. By the uh, way, I adore her. Yeah, do you, I was going to ask you, do you I know Sharna? Her. I I adore her. She's so talented and so sweet. And I got to tell you, I had the biggest smile on my face. Yeah? Yeah, I was just good, two good people. I was, I was going to ask you because you, you seem to know everybody in, in the dancing world. Um, <laughs> including people that aren't in the dancing world. You just know everybody. So I'm just, I'm just, I, I was, I was assuming, I was like, huh, I wonder if she's ever met Sharna before. Um, Love her. I yeah. absolutely adore her. Good, I figured good, you good would. Girl. 
She's a real. She's a really good dancer. Also, she's uh, she's really good uh, at what she does. Amazing and a great choreographer too. Yeah, yeah, she mm -hmm. loves it. So people are asking us um, for you specifically. Do you like playing yourself on television, or they're saying, or or just being an actor playing a role? Um. I this I mean this is the first time that I've done uh, a a reality show like this where I've gotten a chance to just be myself. Um it's it's different. It it's a different experience. It's it's kind of nice. I mean this show you know this show is fun because we get to be ourselves but we just get to really have fun and and be positive and and enjoy performances and it, and help uplift people. It's such an amazing experience that I way. know I I've told everyone like I got excited waking up every day, being able to go on set and 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 shooting our show. It it was like the whole day would go by and it, it would go by quickly, and yeah. we'd be laughing and or smiling or or the just, whole time. Yeah, yeah. It was so it was, much fun. It was such a great I, job. And, I know. And, and you know what? Everybody, everybody that I asked really enjoyed working on it as well, which was which is a true sign, like the people that, that do, uh, do all the little jobs and are, you know, and are in costumes and doing the really uh, rigorous jobs. They just had so much fun doing it. And it was such a positive experience for everybody. So. I love how everyone's loving the costumes. Yeah. The costumes but, are amazing. Which, which uh, character, if you could play one, or if you were dancing on a show, show, what character would you have wanted to be? Or what character would you like to be? Of the of the ones that are on the show now? Ones that are on the show now and also any any kind of what what would be your costume? Um well I did I did giraffe on on singer. Yeah. Um I think the sloth is kind of my favorite costume on, on our show right now. That that's the one that uh it, it it's the most it, it reminds me of uh richard simmons like the the little short shorts you know like like super active he's moving i know um, i know um, I, he's so reminds cute. reminds me of him yeah super cute what what about you which one do you like the best um it's a toss up between well i i love the zebra i love the zebra because of all the fringe and then, yeah. um, but yeah. I love tulip and cotton right. candies out. I mean, because I, I'm petite and I feel like that would, that costume would fit me. What, um, what are your, some of your like yeah. highlight performances? <laughs> I know, I know what, I know which highlight performances. I, I loved in the um, first round, I loved Tulip's first performance where she incorporated all different dance styles. I loved sloth. So did I. The tap, the tap dancing, and the everything. tap dancing tulip did, and I loved yeah. sloth's jazzercise aerobics. I just, it was so fun. I just remember I, all of us dying laughing. Yeah, I've, I've, honestly, I was, I ended up being a fan of all of sloth's performances. Um, <laughs> the ribbon dancing. <laughs> yeah, just really. I, the uh the 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 person in the costume just had the ability to really entertain like really i thought play with the the comedy of it play to the audience play to the panel which was really fun um the fact that he would dance and do all these things and then just look right at you as he was doing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was he great sloth it was great he'd do a leap and he'd look to the audience as he's jumping and right, I, yeah, totally. We were like laughing he, so hard. Yeah, he completely played to the audience, which was a lot of fun. I, um, I, lo I love Exotic Bird's uh, first performance. That was that was my favorite of hers. Absolutely. And, and, also, and Cotton Candy's first number when she was gliding, and unfortunately, we, where we were like shocked and and worried as hell. The about one, the her one falling. that she fell off yeah. the ring. Yeah, yeah, she's. Yeah. Cotton Candy ends up being just a really strong performer. I mean, we have we have really got strong performances strong throughout. Yeah, we we got really lucky with this uh, with this first season of the show. We yeah, had a lot like of people you, that really like you, dedicated though, themselves. I loved all of Sloth's performances because not only did he, not only was he great at um, 
inhabiting that character. But um, he took a risk and did weird things. And yeah. that just, <laughs> we were dying laughing. The whole, the whole ribbon dance thing, like where he starts and the ribbon's wrapped up in his hand. And, and then he lets go of it and he looks at it and he's like, oh, it's a ribbon. He starts like, to, you know, it's very, he, he, he played to the fact that, um, that that's something that you wouldn't normally see a sloth doing, but, uh, but I actually, a, a sloth is doing and it's doing really well. And I actually like physically touched a real sloth. And <laughs> yeah. so like literally months before we did the show. And so really? every time I'm just like going, this is too surreal, too weird. <laughs> um, what are you looking forward to in tonight's show? Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, tonight's show is really exciting because you finally get to see both of the groups together. I, I, I like the idea that that was the hardest thing for me with the first four episodes was seeing the groups separated. And it was like, Oh, tonight we have group B and then next week we have group A. And so, you know, the ones that were sort of uh, that, that were, that ended up being my favorites. It seemed like you had to wait so long to see them. So it's, it's fun tonight because super six incorporates together. everybody. And then from this point forward, you get to see performances from everyone, which is really uh it's really cool because then you see everybody step it up and it's like they're, you feel the sense of that they're in contest mode, you know, because they're, they're, they're really battling it out and they're really doing these performances that are not just like introducing themselves, but now they're competing. Everybody, I need you to know, um, people ask what it's like, they're asking me what it's like working with you. And I got to tell you, I have <laughs> never met you before we started working on the show. Together. Never. Yeah. And I've all and I've been a fan for a long time. And I was just hoping that I hope he's as nice as he's good looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paula, stop it. I'm okay. serious. So and you were, so in the reverse, I never gentleman. Yeah, I never met you before. And uh and you've you've been famous forever i mean i i was so dark times i know i know it was I, like i don't get star get starstruck very often but uh when i heard that there was a possibility of you doing the show and then we did our first zoom call and we all sort of met um i was i was really nervous because you you, you know you you've you not only do you know everyone as i've said before um, but everyone knows you, like you are, you are next level famous. Like there's, uh -huh. there, there, the C list, the B, the B list, you're an A list celebrity to me. Like you, you are, are so, you are so sweet, honey. I, I, but, I, I just, I love working with you because you're, you're hysterically funny, but you're also sensitive and you have like such a great connection to the contestants and you're really, you're really interested in them and you're like i can see watching i can see you studying the characters i love how how um passionate you are about it and like you know all all four of us and by the way wh when is ashley due she ashley's due i think in in march ashley's due proud about she's so yeah she's she is all stomach and i know i know now <laughs> she's getting to the point where she's like this it's 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 becoming a little much like now <laughs> i would assume i would assume she's in that stretch now where she's like you know just counting the days like you go from excitement like oh my goodness i'm pregnant to then you see yourself pregnant it's cute and it's all and and then and i know now she's at that super uncomfortable like final stretch <laughs> where i know she's she was precious you know she said look i I can't help it, but I might have to stand up and walk and eat in between <laughs> shots because I'm hungry and yeah. my back's hurting me. Yeah. Like, she, she had snacks. Uh, people don't know it, but she had, so we have <laughs> these shelves underneath. We had the, little uh, shelves. I we have shelves underneath the, the, the desk, uh, the panelist desk and her shelves were just lined with snacks. <laughs> like there was, there was, hummus know, and, and hungry. yeah hummus and carrots and she was always pulling out <laughs> things and i was like 
you know, and I'm like pounding coffees and, and I was like, what is like, she's, she's doing it right. Like we, we, I need to follow that suit. Like I need food energy instead of all of this, you know, caffeine energy to get through these shows. But I, uh, I know, I know it's like, I've worked in television a long time now and I've done lots of um, panel panelists or judging. Yeah. And this show I told everyone it's one of the best experiences I've ever had. Hands down the whole entire production, the, the staff, everyone working on the show, the, the dancers, the everyone. It's just been so much fun. And I'm so appreciative of it because, you know, it's not always like that when you work with a cast and a crew. Yeah. And yeah. like we all and let's like talk about Ken for a second. Is he Ken insane? Ken is Ken is out of his mind, but I mean, the best way he's yeah, he's out of his mind funny. But like, in all honesty, he has been so incredibly helpful with this process. Oh, I mean, so he to, to step forward from from singer and, and bring the knowledge of doing that show to us. He's been so helpful. And he's been he's really held our hands and, and uh, helped us get through things. And you know, it was uh, because it was a bit intimidating at first. I mean, I, you know, I, it's, it, it's, uh, it, everybody knows, like, I, 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 I admit the fact that this is not a game that I'm good at. Um, but you are. That's I, the funniest thing. You're so self-deprecating. But you know what, Brian? You started getting it in, into your own group, and it was really, really fun to watch that. Yeah, but you know what, though? It's it's only because I – it's not ne – it wasn't necessarily my own groove. It was that I figured out my lane. I figured out, like, the, the people that – that were sort of, you know, in my generation and, and within my speed. And then the ones that aren't in my lane, I don't think that I don't lean on you like crazy because you know, you, you know, everybody and you know, movements and you know, all of that. So the, the people you that. Know, do you know that what's crazy though, watching the show every Wednesday night, I'm looking I'm going, why didn't I get that clue? Oh my God! How's yeah, see, been? and I and I'm watching the show, going, "Why didn't Paula get that clue? Because <laughs> <laughs> that would have been that would have been so helpful." Um, I, you know, I mean, the fact that you were the only one that knew Brian McKnight, I was I was in a complete different realm of of guessing, and I, I mean, people know watching the show. Like, I have, I really. I'm really winging it at this point. Like there, there are a few people, like I got really lucky with Elizabeth Smart. That was, and, uh, that, was one, that was such a special show. That, that but that really was, you know, like apart from most other shows, it's just very touching. We, and we talked, I we I talked between her performances though. Like we were, we were both on the, um, Monica uh, Lewinsky. on the Monica Lewinsky train. Like we, we a hundred percent thought, well, oh, this is. Well, it's the producers that put those clues in with a, with a blue dress and scandal. Oh. I mean, yeah, the blue dress. You and I went the, there immediately. Yeah. That it's not her because it's too obvious. But then the thing, the thing that stood out to me was uh, not having the White House in the clue package, but instead having the Capitol building. Uh, Queen Elizabeth, I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then the one part where uh, she was standing, the moth was standing there and there were all the equations going past her. And I thought, and it finally, it, it finally made sense to me like, oh, she's smart. And then Queen Elizabeth and smart, like you, you know, it's once you start. Said, Be smart. Yeah. Once you start figuring out the way they put these clue packages together. That's when that's when you start going, oh, I know like how they think and I know what to look for because there are a lot of red herrings and all of it, but there are a there lot are. of really good clues also. You just have to figure out how to weed through them all and, and find the good ones. Uh, which brings me to a question that's being asked. Do we get to see the, um, do we see the performances or the clue packages the day before or on the day of the actual performances. No, we see, we, we see them on the day of the performance. Yeah, we're we're completely in the dark on this. I mean, we we are playing the game uh, just like the people at home. Like we're, we're we don't get a chance to see anything beforehand. We don't know 
anyone that's on the show, we're as surprised as everyone. Uh, like I, told, we, I tell people I've never seen any of the, um, the contestants or the masked dancers. I never seen them. They keep them completely concealed. And it's just wild. Isn't yeah. It? I knew, I knew going into this, uh, from well, my experience on it. singer. Yeah, yeah. That it's that they, they take, uh, they take security and privacy and, and, uh, and all of that really serious on, on this show is uh, the same as they do on singer. I mean, it was, you know, I was on that show and I, and I you walked were great. past, I you walked were great past, on this show. <laughs> thank you. I walked past people in costume though. And I had no idea. I mean, people would ask me afterwards, like, who do you think, you know, popcorn is, who do you think sun is, who's going to win this? And I was like, I, I waved to him. I had no idea. <laughs> who any of them were and it's, it's amazing and, yeah they're they're really they're they're really uh they're really sticklers for uh for privacy and security and all of that and keeping people in the dark i've, I've been such a fan of mass singer but when when we were approached to do the show i was thinking this how is this gonna work this is gonna be so hard because we don't have um a person's voice that that we resonate with or that's familiar it's right it's a dance move so we have it's that's why when i watch the show every wednesday night i going oh my god all these clues i didn't see or yeah I, it's it's i my hat's off to all the performers because people don't understand it's one thing when you're singing in the costume and that's hard enough but having to dance when you don't have much you don't have peripheral vision you yeah. have a very small eye space yeah and a lot of dancing is dependent on a core strength and being able to find your spot and and mm. keep it so it's kind of like they're going out there and it's like you know with reckless abandon and you have to have blind faith because it's difficult it's really it's an really insane difficult. experience i mean i like to walk in the costumes was hard let alone to learn choreography and perform i don't I, I watch them uh, on our show and I think like I, what, what I was doing on Singer was nowhere near what they're doing on this show. It's, it's so- It's a brain tease. It's such a brain tease. And you know what I love It's I love how the, the contestants, the, the mass dancers, how much they're having such a blast doing it. Ah, when, you, yeah. when, you, when they're revealed and they say, this was the most fun I've ever had. Yeah. That just warms my heart. It, they, they're so precious. It's really cool. It, it's really cool to be on something that is as much fun for us to be on as it is for people in costumes going through the experience that that is to have as much fun as they have. That, that's, that's the thing that, that, that's one of the things for me that makes the experience so fun. And then knowing that people are at home watching this show and they're having just as much fun trying to figure out who is in the costume as we are uh, sitting behind the panel. It's it, the, the entire thing is so hats off oh to, to Craig and, the, and James. I, I like I, the show James, is unbelievable. It, Rob, everybody, they're amazing. But isn't it funny how when we're all being asked certain questions, the thing that, the, the thing that stands out for me is that what I love about this show is that it's not about critiquing. It's not about critiquing people or saying, yeah. oh, you didn't point your toes. This is right. about everybody getting stung by the bug of dance and how it affects your spirit and your soul. And I love that because, you know, performance isn't always about having technique and being the greatest dancer. It's about right. having the, the, the sensibility for um, comedic timing, um, you know, just being very creative. Shout out to Tony G. He's done amazing. And the, the women in black are phenomenal. I mean, They're amazing. Yeah. Pay attention to those ladies. They are amazing, amazing. How about Craig's dance moves? And Craig, I was, was going to say, <laughs> my most favorite thing, and I, I absolutely love Craig Robinson. I love Craig Robinson. I've said it. He is awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah. So, He's amazing. People, people don't even... Like we are cracking up in the studio. He's amazing. He, he's amazing. And you and you know what I like? I liked too uh, as the season progressed because we we were forced to we were forced to progress rapidly compared to Singer because people people expected. So we had to really find 
our footing and what it is that we do and what is different from that show. And I feel like at the point when we start, we started interacting more with each other and with Craig is when it really started finding our, our group started finding, you know, the, the glue that held it all together and, and the banter and the fun. And, uh, and, and that's what, that's what makes it fun watching it now. The producers really had to pay attention to giving more clues on dancer because, because it's so different from singer. And I, what I think is so fun is that it's anybody's guess. Yeah. It's, it's, tr it's like it, they're brain teasers and it's yeah. about how, how focused you are on paying attention to all the different clues. You know what? I've talked about this before though, Paula, I don't know if you feel the same way. Like I, at first when I heard the concept of the show, like you, I thought, that just seems impossible. Like how, how am I ever going to be able to figure out who, who, you know, who's dancing in costumes, exactly. whose signature moves are and like, that's, that's insane. That's insanely hard. But then as we did it, you start figuring out what to look for and, and you start so many things narrow down the direction of, of who you, who you might be considering or thinking like how somebody walks, whether they seem trained as a dancer or just as an entertainer, or if they're an athlete or, you know, you start Absolutely. finding these little things. And then once you see things where you go, I think that this person is a blah, blah, blah. Then it starts narrowing down the field. Um, How exciting is it when I'm, I'm like a little kid, like I, I forget that I'm, oh, I'm supposed to be composed here, but I, I'm like a little kid I'm going, I think I know who it is. I yeah. think I know who it is. And, yeah. then, and then you finally, it's chipping away. And then you go, oh, I know who it is. And then you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you're smacked in the face with just how horrible you are. <laughs> well, it's the credit to the producers who give multiple clues that can apply to at least four of the contestants. Brian McKnight said it. He was like, you know, the most obvious clue package that there was. And I literally, I, I didn't put any of it together. I mean, I, I thank thought- God, I, Thank God I, God I was paying attention because- I, Yeah, you're the one that, that picked up on the songs and all of that. I didn't, I saw the 90210 thing and I immediately went there and then, you know, I got stuck on the, the I am train because of the smile. And then that was, that I was, I was just completely useless. I, I, I don't think I helped anyone. <laughs> Tonight- <laughs> Tonight when the Super Six are on, what, what's cool about the show and also which is a little bit, it just sets us, like it makes us fall apart and go off track, is that every week there are complete different clues. So mm -hmm. we all learn that you can't be fixated on one of their first performances because the second week, it's not, there's no reference to the clues that were given the yeah. first week. Yeah, so totally. It, it's crazy, and I, it's, you have to really pay attention. And tonight, I mean, I'm excited to see Hammerhead's performance. Mm -hmm. He's he's been, you know, extremely super cool entertaining, super and fun. entertaining, and yeah. uh, uh, and and the zebra. <laughs> Zebra's Am awesome. I, I love Zebra. Brian, did he not keep moving the entire time, even when we weren't? shooting and that dude just never standing. never stopped moving he was always Not shaking once. he was always he always had the fringe going it was he was he we i think we laughed more uh with the zebra than with any other performer on the show because except, he was he was like in and on swap. the joke but he but you know he was responsible for it so i think he played into it uh really well um okay someone's asking me if I've ever uh, given you choreography, Brian, or chance to at the Who, show. Who, me? No. Yeah. It's, no, because I would happening. just hurt myself. And, and, and Paula's smarter cool than that. <laughs> here's the cool thing. I don't know what you're doing. See, like, Ken and I are just doing ridiculous, like, <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> dancing. Yeah, but, Ken, but, Ken, but Ken's hysterical. Like, Ken know, but, following you is hilarious. But listen, he hijacked my rhythm. I, I don't know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He hijacked it. So I figured if I can't beat them, I'll just join them. So just join we're them, doing yeah. crazy stuff. But when I'm watching the show, I'm seeing Ashley proving out. And then you're up there dancing. And I'm like, Brian can dance. <laughs> What's funny, dance. though, is when they edit it together, it's 
they're so good at editing, you know, these performances together. And then whenever they cut to me, uh, it, who knows what song was playing? Who knows what I'm dancing to? I so know, it's and, never, um, it's kind of, of like don't... whenever you cut to the drummer and the drummer is playing yes. like some other song, you know, and you go, that's not, there wasn't even like cymbal crash there. Like that doesn't fit at all. That's oh my me. God. What, what <laughs> a lot of people don't see is that because they, they edit it, the word up clue when the word up song is playing, Ken and I are like go full on, like we are performing like at Radio City Music Hall. Yeah. And we're stretching before, yeah. stretching when the song comes on and then we go into the dance. But I never know what anyone else is doing. So for me to watch you dance, Brian, I'm like totally impressed. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> Don't be impressed. <laughs> um, I'm yeah, so excited we, about tonight. I'm so excited. Uh, and what I like too is that, you know, they, they start moving our seating positions. So we are one we person closer to, like we, yeah, we travel around and then all of a sudden I get to sit next to you and it's really, it's really fun the way that changes around. And it was, it was, it was cool because we had, you know, with the social distancing, people don't realize like our seats are literally six We're feet so apart. We're so far away. So I mean, at times yeah. they're even further. It's just, It'd be like, hello, Brian, down there. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, Paula's 18, what, what, 18 feet away from me. I mean, that's that's a long <laughs> distance. Um, but uh, but it's so much fun. It, it's such it's such a good time. I'm glad people are, are watching the show and enjoying it. It's and, family. Uh, it's family entertainment. It's like not many shows. The entire family. Can it's join. family entertainment, and it's you know, it's it's such a good compliment to Singer. I think, like, I uh, for people to be able to watch Singer and get that, and then when Singer is down, to then be able to watch Dancer and, and still get this, have the same fun and the same laughs, and and sort of go back and forth with the two. I, I think know. is really, I think is really smart on their part, yeah. and uh, and tons of fun, and and. and we have an amazing panel. We have an amazing group of, uh, of people on our show. It's, I, I'm having so much fun doing it. I really am. It's, the whole experience is a blast. And thank you, Ellen, for debuting just the idea on your show because we're having a blast. We truly are. And I think you guys are going to have fun tonight because it's getting down to the, the wire here. And um, Super six. Let's super go. Six. Let's do it. It's coming yeah. up soon. It's 4.30 LA time. It's, it's going to be on in an hour and a half. We're counting down. I, well, yep. An hour and a half or half hour. What time is it? Half, not it's, even a half hour. It's 4.30. Oh, East. Well, well, yeah, no. East Coast is a whole different world. I'm, I'm speaking for LA because this for is LA. where I live. Yeah. Well, I, watch, I watch the ball drop in East, uh, on the East Coast just because I can't possibly stay up till midnight uh, <laughs> with kids. So nine o'clock, I'm like, hey, happy new year, everyone. Uh, but, but for this show, I watch, I watch this when it airs here. So. Me too. I'll be, we'll be watching together and tweeting. So <laughs> yeah. gonna, let's, let's, let's keep alive tweeting. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you have to say. I, 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 know, I know, I think tonight's episode, um, it just, it really starts, the pieces start being put together and yeah, i love how passionate people are about they are dead certain that this that tulips this that mom yeah. is this that everyone yeah. has their own opinion and i love yeah. it i love it I well love you it. you know as well as i do like the further we got into the season and you get more clue packages then that's when the pieces start coming together it's a puzzle and the first clue package it's uh, of everyone. It's so hard because it's like, it could be anyone like you can, you can, you, it's a, it's a connect the dots, but it could, those dots could be anyone. So it's not until you start seeing the second and the third and, and these multiple performances and word ups that it all starts coming together. So and, much and, fun. and then that's when uh, my guesses go way off the rail. And, and that's when you and Ashley take over <laughs> because, because at that point it takes intelligence and focus. And I, I lack both of those things. No, you don't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, so many people are, are just writing in, texting in how much they love you and that they love the show. You know, it was, what's great. I just throw this in. I was um, on Bravo's watch what happens live with Andy Cohen last week. Yeah. And, um, 
It's a great he's show. A, it's so much fun. He's so he's so good. He's so yeah. good at what he does. But he yeah. said, you know, Paul, I didn't think the show was going to work. But then I'm watching it. I'm going, this is so much fun. I go, I know. It's really? totally fun. It's good. That's good well, to listen, hear. Everyone who's writing in, they love you, Brian. They love me. We yeah, love they love you, you the, also. We and love uh, you and back. thank you for, for loving the show and, and, and watching it and supporting. Please. All right, Brian. I'll be, I'll be texting tonight with you. I miss you, Paula. I'll see you I soon. Miss you, honey. Goodbye, everyone. Love Bye, you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> bye bye.